What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little game called Star Story The Horizon Escape, which as I understand it is kind of like an RPG, I guess, with some really cool art. Really cool art, and you know what convinced me? You know what convinced me? The developers drew a picture of me, and I found that I'm actually really kind of a sucker for people drawing pictures of me. It might be like a, a sad statement on my vanity, but then again, Somebody draws like a cartoon picture of me and I'm just like, okay, now I want to play your game. I don't know. So we're going to check it out today. We're going to do our first impressions. <laughs> oh God. Let's play a new game. Let's go. Uh, yes, I would love to start a new game. Oh, look, we've got like a space hammock made out of a robot boob. That's pretty rad. How come I don't have a boob hammock? The great age of space exploration is almost over. Sector Nali, the last uncharted corner of the galaxy, lies hidden in the sphere of the Dark Nebula. You, Van Click, an inspiring or aspiring explorer of the Space Archaeological Society, was sent on a mission to the unknown to uncover an ancient artifact. Your ship completes the warp jump to the other side. Awesome. Warp jump! Our ship looks like a duck's head. For some reason, that makes me happy. Ducks are kind of douchebaggy, though, but they make good spaceships. I don't know. Ooh, it's a lot more complicated once you get, like, up on it. That's a pretty cool little ship. Can I fly? Can I, like, control the ship? Can the ship do a little dance slash dance emote? Do it. Good day, Commander. Uh, hey, bot. You must still be experiencing the consequences of the hyper jump. No worry, there's still enough time left before we arrive on Horizon. You'll be able to recover. I have recover? Yeah, may I remind you, Commander, that we were assigned to this mission by the Intergalactical Cosmo Archaeological Committee. The strange blue face told you. Uh, what's our quest? We are to search for the ancient humanity generation data banks. It was a unique database that was used to store all humanity's knowledge and secrets on generation ships. And one is reported to have crash landed in the system centuries ago. Meanwhile, I will perform some calibrations. I need to make sure you understand what's going on. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask them, Commander. Yeah, let's calibrate. I am Verdana, and for the duration of this journey, I have prepared your personal version of the Empirical Personality Governing Operator, or Ego for short. Okay, so we've got scans, answers, and predicts their consequences. Okay, in short, the latest version of Ego allows you to analyze situations for possible consequences. You will see the different answer options will affect the development of your personality and abilities. I see nothing for now. That is because you have not been given any choices yet. Ego analyzes any situation and turns suggests possible scenarios. Here's a question. What is your preferred problem-solving method, Commander? The ends justify the means, the fastest, most efficient one. Okay, like the lawful evil approach. Intelligence and creativity can help solve anything if you use your brain. Cooperation, collaboration, and mutual aid. A kind-hearted person will always get support from others. Um, I mean, if you had worded that a little bit more gangster, I'd probably go with that one and be like, Yo, you spit a little game at him and then you get what you want. Then I'd be like, Oh, that's the one that I'm going to pick. But you made it sound like, I don't know, you made it sound like we're going to hug him to death or something. I'm gonna go with intelligence and creativity. So I got character insight. I believe you get the idea. I must point out there are choices without visible consequences and questions with no obvious answers. For instance, two people are asking to resolve their conflict. Find a way to help both? While you were trying to help them, they killed each other. Ego is unable to predict certain consequences or foresee several moves ahead, but it is good at spotting those special choices when they arise. Pay attention to the situations. They will affect your destiny. Oh my god. Part Zero. We must enter the horizon. I am in a spaceship. It is the 1950s. Uh, checking on board the event log. Um, let's see. Day one. Tested ship systems. Two rats escaped the research lab. Commander calibrated the navigation system. Day 2425. 47 hours by the system module playing Half-Life 3. Good lord. There we go. While checking the gateway, Commander has suit on and it got jammed. Commander defeated the practice bot, finally. Yeah, replay my fight. Oh shit, we going to comp, dude. This game's got pretty art. This game is really pretty. I'm gonna punch this robot, though. Oh yeah, caught him with that left. Ow, he's got a gun, fool! He's got a gun, you better- You better stop it, robot. He shot me with a gun. Dude, we look kinda like a badass. We got shoes that are mostly metal. This game's art is really good. I like the art in this game. It looks pretty. Blaster UXN7 Miner, a widespread mod of the default blaster, deals damage but gets overheated fast. Ha ha, I'm gonna show you that practice bot, or I'm gonna show that practice bot what I'm made of. Set a higher difficulty, we were ready for the next battle. Careful commander, the next opponent has increased durability. Okay, but I don't have a gun this time around. I'm sorry, I have a gun this time around. That's right, I one-shot at him. He's got nothing on me. Ooh, there's a cooldown on my blaster, okay. 
I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Give me the toughest bot! Careful, Commander. The next practice bot deals fire damage. Use a shield module. They absorb fire damage. Okay, I've got a shield module. Yeah, let's get on with it. Let's fight this guy. No, he shot me before I could put my shield up. All right, so there's my shield module. Ooh, the relaxing tingle of a shield. I'm going to shoot you back, son. You best believe it. Ah! Punch him. Yeah, finish him off with a fist. Everybody knows that a laser blast is the best lead in that you can possibly have to throw in that left hook. I don't throw left hooks. Left hooks, I don't know. My left arm is like my my T-Rex arm. It doesn't work right in that way. My right arm, yeah, I can throw them jabs out. You throw them hooks out. But the right arm, or the left arm, I don't know. I just use it for, like, jabbing or something. I don't know. My left arm is a little bit weird. Would you like me to heal your wounds? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I feel like that's a smart idea. Like, nah, just let me sit over here getting space infections. It's all good. Commander, I've encountered a minor failure in the navigation system. Your intervention is necessary. Would you like me to remind you what the navigation cons or system consists of? Uh, yeah, give me the info. The navigation system has a tech cell, a Gauss megascope, and a scientific module. Please remember that all components must be operational before the system can be launched. Okay. You need to use an action planner to repair the navigation system. It'll help you plan your repairs. Keep in mind, however, that you need to choose the right components in the right order. Okay. So tell me one more time. Tech, Gauss, Scientific. Got it. Okay. So, Commander, the navigation system needs to be repaired. Otherwise, we will not be able to continue on our journey. So, we can go with the tech cell. Well, I don't think that we need... There we go. I'm pretty sure that we don't need... Gauss Megascope was the next one. And then the science module was the third part. And so, there it is. Excellent, Commander. The action planner can be helpful in various scenarios. It will allow you to solve all sorts of problems in the future. Full speed ahead! We've got an action planner now. Hooray for us. We've also got a nano bandage. Looks kind of like a normal bandage to me made out of, like, papyrus. But you know what? I'm not going to nitpick. If it wants to be a nano bandage, nano bandage, don't let anybody tell you what you are or who you can be, okay? You are everything that you want to be. I'm being inspiring, but I'm not being realistic. Commander, an unidentified ship is approaching. Your orders. Send a greeting signal! Maybe we can contact them. Aside from an unintelligible static, the ship returned no signal, but it is still moving in your direction. I guess there's no other way but to annihilate it. Kaboom! The unidentified ship began to disintegrate. It became clear that the ship had been severely damaged already. Commander, we need any and all data about this system and local forces, Verdana said. Alright, I will teleport to the ship and... Find out what kind of ship it is and what its crew is. Cool. So we got smoke. Even the most dangerous foe can get lost in the smoke. We got a corrosion grenade, and we've got a lockpick. Okay. Excellent, Commander. Would you like to find out more about the equipment you just got? I can't insist, of course, but in case you don't kill yourself, I, I, you'll understand, you suppose. I, yeah, go ahead. Tell me. Select an item you want to hear details about. Um, the smoke bomb? Tactical device. Disorients enemies and lets you regroup or perform several actions in combat. Okay, that's cool. Lockpick can gouge out someone's eye, so don't think of using it as a weapon. Oh, it cannot gouge out someone's eye. On the other hand, it has a smart lockpicking system built into it to help you deal with a mechanical lock, but only once. You have to find a replacement after that. Okay, that's cool. As long as I understand how things work. Shh, Commander, something is jamming my transmissions. And Verdana switched off. I will have to figure out what's the matter myself. Derelict ship with nobody in sight. There are red flickers ahead as if an alarm has been turned on, and I have a feeling something happened on board long ago. Um, keep exploring. Let's walk around the ship and see what happens. You've entered a small room with an operational containment field in the middle of it. The walls are covered with control panels of sorts. The containment field was guarding a weird device. It looked like your first chance to loot something. Yay, looting! You checked an old console beside the containment field. A hunched figure was sitting in the chair next to it. Carefully approach. As you were sneaking around, you tripped over a cord and fell down. Not hard enough to get any damage, but still not pleasant. You hear footsteps from the hallway. Uh, move towards the rattle. Doesn't seem you are welcome here. The visors begin to beep. Dangerous enemy protected by a layer of armor. Use corrosion weapons advised. Anyways, you have time to deal the first hit. Oh, we got a... Oh, that enemy's got like a little grabbler claw right there. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, So does he have like a corrosion shield? Is that what that is right there? Yeah, he's got a corrosion shield. What kind of damage does that do? Neutral damage? Yes! Damage from the neutral planet. Oh, really? His shield stays up... Reg Ow! I've been stunned. That's not good. Um, do I still have a shield? Oh, I don't have a shield anymore. That's kind of bad. I don't think a corrosion grenade is really going to help that much. Oh, it gets bonus damage from corrosion. Yeah, hit him that then. There you go. Bleed this dude up. Yup, make him melt. I'm melting. 
punches. Dude, this guy's an intergalactic badass. Just shows up in space and punches guys. Like, that's ballsy right there. You're in the world of, like, laser weapons. Ooh, a corrosion phaser. An odd alien weapon that uses chemical slime as ammo. Ooh, thank you. With a screech, the containment field is dropped. This was your first archaeological reward on the mission. Cool. We've also got an unknown artifact. A golden disc with tech slots for unknown cable types. Probably Verdana can help you analyze it. Sounds good. Oh, that looks like a robot inside of a box. A container. Some strange red lights are blinking at the container's sides. It's a trap. Mm, can I analyze the trap? The container is surrounded by red lights. There's something valuable inside, but any mistake is sure to set up the trap. Um, we'll probably use a laser detector. I don't think the Gauss Megascope's gonna be that helpful. And then maybe a smoke grenade? And then a hack virus? Oh shit, that wasn't the one. So we got the laser, we got the smoke grenade, and we've got the lockpick. There we go. Haha, -ha, we are successful and also the best. You identified the trap type perfectly bypassed it and figured out the container had a mechanical lock on it. Any other approach would have jammed the container. Ooh, a universal translator. Okay. We've got a corrosion grenade. Those are always nice to have. And a shield module. Three shield modules. Even better. That makes me pretty happy. The ship is in ruins. An idle security robot is docked in the corner. Can I kick the robot? Oh, I upset it, but I dealt the damage to it, so that's good. A uh, corrosion grenade, that fool. Melt! Melt! Ow! He had a laser-targeted fist. Did you see that right there? He was like, boop, 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 boop. He's got an ACOG on his fist or something. That's not right. A corrosion laser? But then I could just wait for him to bleed out, too. That is a valid option. I mean, I don't want to use my supplementary items if I don't have to. Oh, we stunned him with that punch. Nice. Cool. Down he goes. I like the art style. The art style is really good. I'm enjoying the art in this game a lot. I think the translation could use a time. There's like some odd little translational issues, I think, here and there. But it's still like perfectly readable. It's just one. Ooh, iridium. Yay. Iridium's a real thing, in case you were wondering. It's totally a real thing. The destroyed bot joined an exiting trash, or the existing trash on the ship. He was guarding something like a teleportation device. Okay. The teleportation device has an input slot of some kind. You looked at the artifact you acquired earlier. It's the key to the teleporter. Eureka! Wild idea flew through your head. As so you put the artifact into the slot, the teleporter came to life. The ship experienced a light thump. After a few minutes, you managed to input your ship's coordinates and ejected the artifact and stepped into the teleport. Yay! The first thing you did when you got back is ask Verdana about the artifact. No idea, Commander. There's nothing in our archives on the origins of such items. For sure, this is a rare discovery, she replies. Um... Cool. I'm gonna go get some sleep. I know all the stuff that I picked up. Oh, we got some health back, too. I wonder if we level up or anything like that. I bet we get, like, armor or something like that later on that makes our health bar larger or something like that. But either way, I really like the presentation of this game so far. Uh, Commander, we set out on this mission to conduct research on the humanity generation data bank lost in the sector. Apart from that, would you like to specify a side goal? Hmm... Let's meet people and make friends. Commander emphasized the importance of communicating with inhabited planets of the Dark Sector. I find a corrupted record, Commander. Verdana calls out again. Seems like the record in your personal data is corrupted. Okay. Which of these archetypes would you pick as a role model? Um, a messiah. Well, yeah. If I can be a messiah, I think that sounds cool. What does Famous Explorer do, though? Because that also sounds awesome. Ooh, it gave me insight and it gave me, like, charisma. The commander doesn't like filling out questionnaires, which is why his profile is full of descriptions of exaggerated personality models he's always wanted to look like in the eyes of others. Man, we've got, like, an arrogance issue right now. It's okay, though. Everybody's got an issue. I have several issues of GamePro in my closet. You almost reached the planet Horizon when the artifact you discovered earlier started emitting an unnatural green light. Uh, Verdana? Commander, our ship is cutting through a power gravita or powerful gravitational current. We've been drawn down to the planet. It's still quite far away, but something's drawing us to it. Is, the art is it the artifact? Um. Oh, well, yeah. Order to head for the planet. It's our main quest anyways. That sounds good. The ship is getting drawn down to the planet even more. Sensors are going mad, and the hull is about to be crushed by some unknown anomaly. Verdana prepared a multi-dimensional field backpack and some equipment. You had time to specify your choices. Uh, let's go with armor and medications. That sounds good. So we've got items in our fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, regardless of their weight and mass. So that's going to give us nano bandages, armor modules. That's going to give us corrosion grenades, copper, carbon, and a universal translator. I thought it said armor, though. 
I want it armor. Hmm. I was expecting armor. A limited amount of supplies and essential injections to adjust to new climates. Also, lots of various medications among the items delivered. Inside the escape pod, apparently our ship is going down now. It's smoky. I don't think that's a good thing. Smoking in space is probably just as bad as smoking on a planet, though. It's all bad for your lungs. As you were closing on the planet, your ship began to shake horribly. Your thrusters shut down while reality started to bend. You felt as if you were getting flushed down a wormhole. Something was going terribly wrong. Systems at max, screeched Verdana. Boop, 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 boop. We activated our escape pod and cling onto the chair. The turbulence is so powerful that we almost passed out, but suddenly everything stopped and you felt a light electric shock at your fingertips. Oxygen is running low in the escape pod. Horizon is just below you waiting. It's time to choose. A transmission arrived a few seconds ago. A request for help with direct coordinates. Could be a trap or could someone really be in distress or someone could be in distress. On the other hand, you could attend the, to those matters later and follow the coordinates of your crashed ship. Maybe it's still in flying condition. Uh, let's track our ship. You activated thrusters using all that was left of your fuel. The escape pod plunged down towards the planet, roaring as it enters the atmosphere. Yay! Your pod landed at the top of the hill with a slit a few hundred meters down a slope till something stopped you. You hit your head. Ow. Let's peek outside and see what we hit. You quietly peek outside of your pod just in case someone's angry. An old robot was half buried in the sand and seems deactivated. Uh, yeah, let's salvage the robot for archaeological parts. You try to remove the head to have a cheerful session at Headball prior to your archaeological investigations, but once you touch it, an extremely hostile robot is standing in front of you. You're gonna have a bad time, it exclaims through its vox. Uh, hit him with a rock? I don't know, we've got lots of bombs and grenades and stuff, so like, why worry about it? So I've got five charges left on a corrosion gun. I mean, he doesn't have that much health, but I'm gonna shoot him with corrosion. Damn, that's a big gun! That was awesome! We have like a cannon, dude! Hell yeah. So eight health points on a nano bandage. I'm not gonna use that yet. We'll just focus on pistol whipping this dude down. That's way better than our little tiny pistol. Aw, oh, he bled out. Now I feel bad. Not bad enough to like not do what I just did, but still bad enough to where I'm like, Oh no! We made a robot leak its fluids out all over the earth when we could have been friends with him. Commander, it seems that our ship has landed somewhere in this area. The signal's weak, but it leads onwards towards an underground passage. Okay, yeah, let's continue our journey. Keep on a walking, chilling in the desert. A strange hologram appeared just as you passed the area. Entrance forbidden, it exclaims. Judging by the fact that there was nothing else to stop you, it seemed the hologram was malfunctioning. I can talk with him using my translator. You speak to the hologram and manage to fry its AI with a paradox. The emitter's a bit damaged, but still useful as a resource. We've got a blueprint for a handheld incinerator. Ooh, like a, is that a flamethrower? How do I do that? How do I craft a flamethrower? I want to make a flamethrower. Maybe I have to get to like a crafting table or something in order to make that work. Everybody knows the secret to a successful indie game is to include crafting. That's all that it requires. Just crafting. Like if Super Meat Boy had crafting in it, it would be... It would be incredible. Even though it's already good. The desert was hot and full of sand. Sand in your shoes. Um, yeah, get the finest stone to sit down on. No, there's snakes in the desert. Don't do that. And they like to hide next to rocks. Take your shoe and shake it and get rid of the sand. Eventually, you get rid of the sand and we're ready to move on when suddenly you see a familiar shape in the distance. It's the artifact that you found on the spaceship. Uh, Verdana, can you see that? I can see it too. It's not a mirage. We have to follow it immediately. It may hold answers. The quest is on. Okay, well, it looks like we're following it. You strolled through a valley and it was quiet. The artifact was slowly drifting on and you can still see it. Alright, well, keep walking. Do your thing. The sand was covered with damaged weapons and used bullets. It looks like the scene of a gang fight or a battlefield. Let's look around. There's a dark spot here in the valley. You cannot tell whether it was a house or a wreck. I cautiously move forward. It's an ambush by a shrimp. This one looks a little different. Greenishly different. It's body covered with some unusual scales. It's also wearing like a propane tank as a helmet. So what does he do? He takes extra corrosive damage. We'll then corrode away. There you go. Corrode your ass off. Ow! I've been corroded too. Punch him! Punches will solve this problem. Punches solve all problems. I'm gonna use a nano band-aid so that I can feel better. Nano band-aid, feeling better. He is dead, the ground is wetter with his blood. Continuing our story. Let's continue to walk. We've got stuff to do today. Verdana self-activated again. I am picking up a powerful time paradox anomaly right ahead, she buzzes. You can see a ruined ship at the end of the valley. Uh, let's cautiously approach the ship. 
Hello? The artifact is nowhere to be seen. Maybe it went inside? The sand starts to move. Hello? A DNA test is required for identification purposes, a bot screams. If you do not match, you will be annihilated. If you refuse, you will be annihilated. The bot approaches you with its cutter, is apparently ready to perform a test. Does it hurt? The robot pinches your leg with a manipulator. DNA testing in progress. Stay where you are, otherwise you will be annihilated. You have been identified. Welcome home, federal hero. The bot squeaks and buries itself in the sand again. Looks like the bot took you for its owner. Dude, I'm a federal hero? Hell yeah. Nice. He's got a Batman poster. Who doesn't like Batman? Was he reading a porno? So during our journey, we have acquired a number of awesome things. I'm going to unload all of them. And so it looks like we have a house now. We've got a jukebox. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. So technologies. You can create items at the workbench. Okay, so we can craft stuff over here. So we've got war crafting. We've got tech devices. And we've got support. Like, if I want a Warcraft, unlocks access for Warcrafting technologies. Stats go up. We get a handheld incinerator. It requires five resolve, though, and we don't have that. We can do this one, though, because it takes five goodwill. So there it is. Now we can make support level one. And so unlocks access for new support equipment types. Okay, that's kind of cool. Looks like I can do key tech devices, too. So there we go. We'll keep that unlocked. So we can salvage carbon. What happens when I do that? So it produces carbon, and it uses up my iridium. Or I can make metallic structures out of iron or carbon. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to play around with that a little bit more. What is this? A capsule? You'll find capsules on your journey. You can open them here. They have resources and equipment that drop randomly. Okay. And then here is our crafting bench, it looks like. So we can do gadgets, so I can make lock picks, or I can make universal translators. We can make more band-aids, we can make a smoke grenade if we really need to. And it looks like I can make a shock bat. What does a shock bat take? Oh, a shock bat, I have to have the... Okay, I've got to have the blueprint in order to make the shock bat. A little bit disappointing, but that's fine. It's cool. Inventory. And we've got some things in here. I can't afford to do the incinerator yet, though, so I guess we'll just journey along when you're ready to continue your journey you collect the journey bag click on items from your inventory to move them around what is charge mode does that allow me to like plug them into a usb so that they get better i don't know it seems like that might be what it's supposed to do so i guess i'll put them on charge mode if nothing happens right there i'll try something different the next time around so i still have my guns here they still have the same amount of charges so if i teleport to base is it done in real time? Hold on, I want to see how to recharge my weapons here. I think it's going to be an important facet of the gameplay. Yep, that's fine. I just want to go to... So if I go to my inventory, charge mode is not inside of there. Do I have to, like, choose a weapon to go on the charger? Oh, so I can take carbon, and I can charge my weapon. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. Well, we got plenty of carbon, but our guns are reloaded now, so that's probably a good thing to have. So you got to click on the charge mode thing, then you click on the weapon you want, then you can start dropping stuff in. Time to meet some new friends, or annihilate some sketchy aliens, one or the other. The desert is hot as full of sand. Sand is in your shoes. Again? Really, you thought? Well, let's get rid of the sand. You got rid of the sand, and we're ready to move on. Nothing really happened. Well, that seems like it was probably worth noting. Hooray! Onwards for nothing happening! For great glory! You found the creature... Or the stranger girl catching desert carnivorous scavenger lizards. Those creatures were small but dangerous. Apparently, they underwent a mutation on the planet. Their tails will make radiation filters. I'll build. I'll make a fortune on water for purification. Okay. Catch lizards. You were catching lizards. The sly, disgusting creatures were doing their best to slip out of your hands. I think a transparent container would probably work best. And then we can go with insect bait or shrimp meat bait. I'm going to go with insect bait. No! You don't look like a great lizard hunter, the stranger girl said. Maybe it isn't your day. Damn, I only had one try on that one, so there was no trial and error. It was just like, well, I don't know if they like bugs or meat. A group of pygmies are following you. Seems they have cornered you. Um, talk them into a party and slip away? Well, you managed to make them party, but at least they... Or you didn't manage to make them party, but at least they started to fight with each other. You've got time to slip away. Hell yeah, and then we got the shock bat recipe. Nice, I can make a shock bat. Awesome!
them? This game is called Star Story The Horizon Escape. My name is Splattercat and I show off indie games every single day here on the internet. These guys drew a picture of me and so I thought, I like that art. It's a picture of me. Yay. And so this is an episode about their game, which actually, aside from the translational issues, I like it. I like it a lot. I think the game's going to be quite a bit of fun. Uh, if you like what I do here on the channel and you like the game, check it out down below in the description. That's going to be the place where you can wishlist that up, or you can go and buy it if you wanted to play the game for yourself. And aside from that, check it out on Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. I'll be playing all kinds of indie games every single day of the week. 3 o'clock, same cat time, same cat channel, Pacific time. See y'all later. Hi, do everybody.